let's see case study 3 arka brought two cages two cages of birds cage 1 contains five parrots and one owl and cage 2 contains six parrots cage 1 contains five parrots and one owl and cage 2 contains six parrots one day arka forgot to lock both the cages and two birds flew from two birds flew from cage 1 to cage 2 simultaneously later time then two birds flew back from cage 2 to cage 1 the same number of birds flew back from cage 2 to cage 1 at a time assume that the probability the birds have equal chances of flying all the birds have the equal probability of flying then on the basis of this information we need to answer the some questions let's see question number one when two birds flew from cage one to cage two and two birds flew back from cage two to cage one then find the probability that the owl is still in cage one so let's consider the events e1 we'll consider this as an event that one parrot and one owl flew from cage 1 and let us consider event 2 it's an event that two parrots flew from cage 1 and let's see the event the required event here the probability that the owl is in still in cage 1 so let us consider this as an event that the owl that the owl is still in still in cage 1 so according to this we can say the number of possibilities for a number of ways for a to happen so let's write here cage 1 and cage 2 in cage 1 we have five parrots and one owl and in cage 2 we have six parrots so according to the question event 1 one parrot and one owl flew from cage 1 suppose one parrot one parrot and one owl flew from one cage to another cage then we'll have seven parrots and one owl now in which there are two possibilities either one parrot one parrot and one owl can flew back from cage 2 to cage 1 or there is a possibility to have the two parrots can flew back these are the two cases and again if suppose two parrots flew from cage 1 to cage 2 then we have the possibilities here total eight parrots and again now the only one possibility we can say that two parrots flew back let's take the cases so one parrot and one owl so let us see first one so 5 c1 out of five parrots one parrot and out of one oval one all again that is 5c1 into 1c1 this is flew from cage 1 to cage 2 this is from cage 1 to cage 2 and again in the same event 
it happens cage 2 to cage 1 so that is so we can write out of 7 parrots so let us assume that 7 c1 into 1 all that is 1 c1 this is one possibility this is cage 2 to cage 2 to cage 1 or we can say 5 c1 into 1 c1 that is one parrot and one all and again in written and in written we can say let us assume two parrots so out of seven two parrots flew back from cage 2 to cage 1 or we can say two parrots will go from the cage 1 so that is out of 5 5 c2 and again the it's compulsory that the only parrots will be remain in cage 2 eight parrots out of eight out of eight two parrots will come so 8 5 c2 into 8 c2 so this is the let us find what is the value of 7 c2 7 c2 is 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 2 5 factorial into 2 factorial that is 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 2 so 7 3 is a 21 so 7 c2 is 21 and again 8 5 c2 value that is 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 2 3 factorial into 2 factorial that is 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 so we can say 10 so 5 c2 value is 10 and 8 c2 value so we can write 8 c2 is 8 factorial by 6 factorial into 2 factorial that is 8 into 7 into 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 2 factorial so we can say 2 here 4 times 7 4 is 28 so that 5 c1 is 5 into 1 and again here 7 c1 is 7 into 1 5 c1 is 5 into 1 into 7 c2 value is 21 plus 7 c2 5 c2 value is 10 and 8 c2 value is 28 so we can write 5 7s are 35 and again here 21 5s are we can write 105 and 10 28s are 280 so 35 plus 105 is 140 plus 280 is 420 so the number of ways for a to happen that is all is still in cage 1 according to the conditions is 420 now let's see the probability Now the probability that the all is still in cage 1 for this only two possibilities out of three possibilities from the A it happens which are that is 5C1 into 1C1 into 7C1 into 1C1 because it come back again. One all is going to the cage 2 from cage 1 to cage 2 and again coming back to the cage 1. So it will be there. And again another possibility one all is remaining in the same cage by without not sending so five parrots will go out of so that is 5c2 and again 8c2 because no all is shifted from cage 1 to cage 2 so one all is shifted from cage 1 to cage 2 and again coming back and again the next there is no all sent from cage 1 to cage 2 flew from cage 1 to cage 2 so 5c2 into 8c2 these are the two possibilities we have so the probability can be taken the whole divided by so we can write uh, 420 that is p of a n of a sorry uh, so 5c1 into 1c1 that is 5 into 7 this is 35 and 5c2 into 8c2 value we found it's 20 280 so 35 plus 280 divided by 420 which is 315 divided by 420 so on simplifying we can get 3 upon 4 so the answer for the first one the probability that the all is still in cage 1 when two birds flew from cage 1 to cage 2 and two birds flew back from cage 2 to cage 1 is 3 by 4 now second one when two birds flew from cage 1 to cage 2 and two birds flew back from cage 2 to cage 1 the all is still seen in cage 1 what is the probability that one parrot and the one all flew from cage
cage one to cage two. So here is the case: one parrot and one owl is flew from cage one to cage two. So we have here seven parrots and one owl. One owl. So it's an event one. So according to the question, we need to find the probability of E1, and it's given that all E is still seen in cage one, that is E. So P of E1 upon E, that is P of E1 intersection E divided by P of E, and we can say that P of E1 upon intersection E is. So that is phi C1. Into one C one, and again flew back. So we can say the two pos the possibility that is compulsory one all should come here. So seven C one into one C one because one all is flew from cage one, and again it came back. So this is only one possibility. P of A one intersection A divided by the total. Possibilities we have 420, so that is 350 not 3 by 4. Before we got it 3 by 4. So from previous question we got P of A is 3 by 4, so we can write that. And here 5C1 into 1C1 is 5 into 7C1, and here also total out of 420. Sorry, probability is to be taken. So P of E1 intersection A is nothing but These two cases divided by 420. So 5 into 7 divided by 420 divided by 3 divided by 4, which is 35 divided by 420 into 4 by 3. So we can write here um, 4 one not five times and 35 three times. So one upon nine. So we can go with an answer one upon nine for the second question. Okay.